The Big 12 features some of the most famous and historic venues in college basketball, but also some more modern arenas with incredible designs. So with that being said, here are the 10 Big 12 basketball arenas. Thank you to RachelSeats.com for providing most of the interior shots you'll see in this video. Feral Center, Baylor Bears. It's a design that's straight out of Jerusalem, although I'd wager that it's slightly less contentious than the Dome of the Rock, but it has an equally hostile atmosphere. Maybe not in the same way. Anyway, as is usually the case with domed arenas, the seating is more of a rounded bowl layout with the retractable seating used to fill in the gaps. Most domes don't have a ceiling that's so visually striking, however. I love the look of those triangles. Very interesting venue to start with. Hilton Coliseum, Iowa State Cyclones. It's a good name for it because for the home team, well, they feel welcome like they would at a Hilton hotel. But as for the visiting teams, it probably does feel like they've entered the actual Coliseum. This place is known for its huge home court advantage which even has its own name, the Hilton Magic. And whether you believe Hilton Magic is a real thing or not is up to you, but I want to make it clear that magic itself is real. I've been watching this captivating docu-series about this magic school in the UK. Fascinating stuff. Come to think of it, this place does have a bit of a theatre vibe to it. Allen Fieldhouse, Kansas Jayhawks. The former home of Wilt Chamberlain, who some consider to be the GOAT, is an arena that's held in very high regard. In fact, a lot of people say it's the best place to watch a game of basketball in the world. One of the reasons why it always sells out. It also helps that the team has been pretty darn good throughout its history. And despite not being anywhere near the biggest arena in the world, it holds the world record for the loudest crowd roar at any arena in the world. The design itself is fairly simple, a big single tier of brightly coloured seats, some chairbacks, some benches, a gable style roof, and those windows up top are a nice touch. Bramlage Coliseum, Kansas State Wildcats. It also goes by the nickname the Octagon of Doom, which definitely sounds like somewhere where people are forced to fight to the death, but then again so does Coliseum. The name is thanks to its shape, obviously, but also the crowd, just like their Kansas counterparts that are even louder than the numbers would suggest. Maybe it's because it's an intimate seating bowl, but also there's quite a high proportion of metal bench seating here. Maybe the vibration reverberation reflects the ray. I've got no idea what I'm talking about. Gallagher Iba Arena. Oklahoma State Cowboys. It's actually known for its wrestling history, oddly enough. In fact, back when it opened in the 1930s, they would sell out the place for both wrestling and basketball. Unsurprisingly, that makes it the oldest in the conference, but due to a major renovation and expansion in the early 2000s, it's kept up to date with its competition. And it's still a more than adequate venue after all these years. That expansion is the reason why it comes so close to the football field. Its footprint basically doubled with the addition of an upper deck. Schollmeyer Arena, TCU Horned Frogs. Although it was built in 1961, the renovations a few years ago completely transformed the place. You can sort of see how they built around the original dome structure, which allowed for superior amenities such as wider concourses, stuff like that. Also a beautiful brick facade. On the inside, it looks clean, simple, and modern. I love that contrast between the pale maple floor and those purple seats. Just stunning. United Supermarkets Arena, Texas Tech Red Raiders. The venue often goes by its initials, the USA. Just like its football counterpart, it features a stunning Spanish Renaissance inspired facade, including its very own bell tower. That's awesome. It doesn't stop there though, it has what is probably the coolest looking video board in the conference, and certainly in the USA. It incorporates that double T logo, just like the scoreboard at the football stadium. It's a fantastic venue inside and out, oh and a big thanks to the viewer that sent these pictures in. WVU Coliseum, West Virginia Mountaineers. It's known for its distinctive concrete roof, which, although it isn't gold, is still quite visually striking from the outside, and indeed the inside. 
It actually won the 1971 Concrete Structure of the Year Award. Which, I know what you're thinking, that must be the Oscars of architecture. But I feel like it's just a marketing ploy by Big Concrete, trying to get you to buy more concrete roofs. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the arena's original seats were replaced just last year. It's looking good. Lloyd Noble Center, Oklahoma Sooners. It has a fairly plain and simple, unimposing exterior that for whatever reason doesn't really match the red brickwork throughout the rest of the campus. The interior is much like a few we've seen in this conference, but that orange and crimson color combination looks really nice. Reminds me of autumn. Or fall, I should say. Do people use the word autumn in the US? Anyway, that camera lens style video board, as I like to call them, is quite impressive. It almost looks too big. Frank Irwin Center, Texas Longhorns. This place has an interesting story behind it. I hear the design for the exterior came to the architect in a dream. You know, one of those dreams where you forget everything as soon as you wake up. It's slightly more vibrant on the inside, however, and it looks huge. For good reason. It's the biggest in the conference. But it's surprisingly only slightly larger than Allen Fieldhouse. Sadly, it hasn't got long left. A new venue for the Longhorns is being built as we speak. And those were the Big 12 basketball arenas. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, have a good one.